One of the tasks which presents itself as most urgent is to keep Iran together as a single country. And as a consequence of the dynamic of the revolutionary movement, autonomous movements have seized considerable amounts of power in the peripheral provinces of Iran, particularly among the Kurds and again among the Turkomans in the north. So Khomeini needs an army because he needs to bring these countries back under the control of the central government. You also have, in 1980, episodes where it appears that elements within the army are conspiring to uh, try to foment a coup. So there is, there is a real challenge to the Islamic Republic within the army. In order to counter any possible political unreliability from the army, the Islamic Republic establishes the Revolutionary Guards, the Pastaran. Um, who are a different kind of organization. Their task is to make sure that the army does its job properly in professional terms and also that it doesn't develop ambitions of a political kind. Perhaps the principal motive for Iraq launching the invasion was because they thought Iran, revolutionary Iran was weak and would not be able to put up significant military resistance. In fact, it worked the opposite way, so that all the ardor of the revolutionary movement channel, was channeled into the war effort, and it became very much a patriotic duty um, and was taken up by the population. Whatever they thought about the new Islamic Republic, the patriotic duty to defend the country struck a very deep chord among the population, and the army was able to, to draw on that very substantially.